up guys so I got home today from work and uh, I had gotten an email the, during the day that my package had delivered <laughs> and I didn't remember what package I had ordered I'm thinking while I'm driving home I'm like my package what the heck did I order thinking I'm thinking I'm thinking I started looking into the email and it it said something about um, numbers I'm like numbers and I remembered like two weeks ago I had placed an order for new uh, numbers for the side of my car because um, I had been using like this big block uh, magnet with a number printed on it which was good but it just didn't look as good as I wanted so I went ahead and I went to uh, I think it's autocrossdigits.com if I'm not mistaken and I placed the order with them so I got three numbers for each side and then I got um, three letters for each side. So I got 130STH is what number I got. Um, so STH is my class, the Street Touring H class. And then, um, woo, that's bit my tongue. Uh, here's the numbers if you can see them. So nothing crazy at the moment, just a stack of numbers. I got light gray numbers with the black border on them. I think it should look decent on the car. I guess we'll see. But uh, I'm going to test fit them. But first, I'm going to go through the touchless car wash real quick just to kind of rinse some of the dirt off. I haven't really driven the car since the last time I had it washed. But just sitting here, I think we got a little rain one day. So that uh, obviously makes it a little dirty. Pull in here, get the wash started, and uh, get back to you. Please select your wash. Please take your receipt. The wash is available. Please enter wash now. the wash is gone I actually did I got a handful of things for the car um, I did get a oil pressure gauge so I went with the uh, the automator oil pressure gauge no particular reason um, no real reason for why I went with that gauge it was just what was there um, and then I got a big oil filter kit for the car um, I'm working on something for the car right now. I'm not gonna mention what it is at the moment, just because it's not set in stone yet. But uh, once I figure that all out, I'll, I'll update you. I probably will try to mock up the gauge today in addition to test fitting the numbers. Um, but we'll see, I'm not 100% sure on that. I didn't realize this wash didn't blow dry the car. Um, so that kind of sucks. Luckily I've got my drying towel and the trunk. Whatever, not a big deal. This traffic would hurry up, we'll go.
Oh shit. Wrong way. So I forgot that uh, I don't have my drill, so I can't install the. Uh, I can't install my uh, oil pressure gauge. Well, technically I could install the oil pressure gauge, but I can't install uh, the gauge pod. So the gauge is pretty much useless without the gauge pod, right? Can't have her flapping around on the, uh, flapping around on the, the dash. Not that anybody would do that, but. I'll set you all back here so you all can watch. I don't know, what do we think? Yay, nay. I can't tell. I'll do the other side and see what it comes out to be. Get it squared. I don't know which way the, is the one supposed to be, is this supposed to be perpendicular to the earth? Or is this supposed to be parallel with the earth? I, uh, I think it's supposed to be parallel with the earth. That's not very parallel, but... You get the idea. I'm just going off the body line here. Hopefully it looks alright. Yeah. Zero. Should look good. Oh yeah, and the reason that I'm out here and not at my garage was since I didn't have my drill, I wasn't going to drive in my garage. So I just went to a local little park or whatever this is, some soccer field. There it is. I don't know, y'all have to let me let me know what you think about it. I'm not completely sold on this side. I'm happy with the color choice, I think, but... Hmm. Hard to say. Hard to say. I'm gonna take some pictures with my phone. Post them up. Oy. Old school. The neon still has a... Whatchamacallit? Ox Jack. <laughs> Classic. See how that came out. Came out pretty good. I can dig it. A sideways or vertical or sideways panoramic shot like that is really hard to do. Never done one before, but now we know. I think the numbers look pretty good. I'm not sold, but it ain't terrible. You know something that I have noticed with this thing is the car, this thing. I noticed with this car is the spring rate, the front spring rate, I think it is. So I got BC, uh, what are they, BR, BC coilovers, they're the BR series. So like the entry level series of, uh, entry level BC coilovers. They're great coilovers, but when I'm racing, it seems like the the spring rate is too soft, which I know everyone's gonna be like, well, you're gonna sacrifice ride quality, but realistically, the ride quality isn't my main issue. So the, the ride height is higher than I'd like it to be. Um, you can see in the back here, there's some good gap there. It's not terrible, 
but it's not the best. The front's the same height. The reason the front is that height is because when I go hard into a turn, which you gotta think, autocross, you're racing in parking lots. If you ever look across the empty parking lot, they are not level, never level. And you know, the lay of the course, sometimes you're going into a hard bank at the bottom of a dip in the parking lot, which puts all the car's weight on the front left or right corner. And basically what that's doing is over compressing the coil, which is causing the fender to rub on the tire. I think if I went up 100 pounds per side in the front, it would help mitigate that. Um, I think, I might be wrong. Let me know in the comments if I'm way off, but in my head, that makes sense. I got these springs second hand, so they might not even be the original ones. But uh, yeah, I think I wanna go stiffer springs in the front. The rears are fine. This thing has no weight in the back of it. But yeah, so I think the numbers look pretty good. Um, I've got to fix the intercooler on the front. It's uh, the bracket was bent and I was just like, man, it's all right. I'll throw it together. And it's not really all right. <laughs> it's pushing up on the bumper, which is causing the hood to be hard to close. Not a huge deal, but uh, it's happening. Another thing that just happened to me recently is the lens to my headlight, the cover, the the little dome thing that it shines into. It broke off at some point. I uh, I went to a car show just the other day and <laughs> I was walking by and I noticed it. I was like, what is that? It broke off. Apparently it's pretty common with these cars, um, especially considering I'm running the coilovers on a pretty aggressive setting but yeah i uh that's all i got unfortunately i did get some windshield wiper blades so for those of you that don't know i guess pet boys is going out of business or something like that so i got two oil filters Four windshield wiper blades, two for my car and two for my pickup truck, a six pack of some new car scented air fresheners, uh, some heat for my fuel, for my fuel tank, and I got something for my fiance's car. I think I got our brake lights and oil, mainly because everything in the store, this is what I'm getting at, everything in the store is 50% off, which is legit. I was going in there for... I think I was going in there for an O2 wrench to remove, remove a O2 sensor and I ended up leaving with like $50 worth of stuff. $100 worth of stuff for 50 bucks or something like that. But yeah, that's all I got. I'm going to go ahead and take these numbers off and maybe go for a little spin around town before I go inside and I've got a lot of videos to edit. I'm behind. I think I'm, <laughs> I'm like three months behind on editing videos. I just got busy, you know. Yeah, now the next daunting step is going to be to uh, try driving with the magnets on the car down the highway. I do do it with my other magnets, which they work pretty well. Uh, that's my helmet. I just got new iPhones, so that's cool. So here is the letters. See, it's just a, a crude cut piece of magnet material, um, decal, uh, printed out on white, and then these are the numbers. Super plain Jane. I did realize I don't recommend you. I don't recommend that you leave the numbers on for that long if you're running magnets, at least, um, just because it. I don't know what it did, but it almost left like a sticky oily film or whatever on to on the paint of the car um, which didn't come off that easy I tried to I ran through the car wash just the touchless one to spray the dirt off and uh, it didn't do anything to that but, uh, yeah I'm gonna cruise home make some noises maybe hit the store real quick
bumpiest road.